What's going on everyone? Welcome back. Today we're in Plymouth, Minnesota and we're getting ready to check out another beautiful home from another beautiful home builder. Alrighty, so today we're going to be walking through 16 487 46 Court North from Swanson Homes. Y'all, this home, oh my goodness, it's got it all from an indoor basketball court to a golf simulator in the basement, a beautiful back porch with a fireplace that just makes you want to get all cozied up on the couch, to the beautiful kitchen and pantry area. Whew. In addition to that, it also has six bedrooms, seven bathrooms, and a four car garage. All of this is sitting inside of approximately 5,140 square feet. It did just recently sell for approximately $3 million. And if you are interested in something similar to this, you can click that link right there at the top of the description, or you can go over to Refealty.com. Let us know what you're looking for, and we can help you get your home journey started anywhere across the country. With that, let's get inside and see what all we can find. All right, here we go. So these Minnesota homes, whoo, my goodness, this is the third one. And uh, so far, I'm in love with all of them. Like, I love the exterior. I love the interiors. Um, gosh, I just love them all. And like I said, we're going to be touring a lot of the uh, David Charles designs. He's the architect. Uh, this one, the interior design is actually from Carbon 6, which I actually love as well. So maybe we'll get a chance to to see something more from Carbon 6 as well. And you can let me know what you think about it uh, as we walk through the home. Now this does have this uh, really nice modern front door right here as you come into the foyer. And then of course you've got a little spot over here you can put a nice table. You've got the accent lights right there and the bump out as well. Kind of a cool funky light fixture with the accent ceiling and then you've got this set of stairs almost like an open staircase with the exception of you know it's got railings and stuff but like looking through it it's open uh going up to the second floor fun light fixture oh i love it all right so before we get into all the common spaces and stuff i do like the fact that it's kind of broken up a little bit while it is an open concept uh, it feels a little separated. You've got this column right here, and then if you can kind of see up above, you've got these little bulkheads right here that just kind of separate like the living room uh, from the kitchen and dining room space, et cetera, that type of stuff. But coming into the living room, you've got this nice fireplace right here, huge windows looking out into this waterway. I love the gray color of the ceilings. Again, Kind of matching what was in the foyer. You know, just nice little pan back into the kitchen. Good view. This fireplace right here. Ooh, it's toasty. It's actually, to tell you the truth though, I was expecting Minnesota to be uh, cold. <laughs> uh, you know, that's just what you expect because we are, what are we in, March? Um, but this morning I was talking to Miss Jennifer on the telephone and I was like, man, it's like 40 degrees here. She's like, what? Well, back in old West Virginia, it, uh, at least where we're at, it's like 29 degrees. A little chilly, but uh, it wasn't quite the, the temperature I was expecting here. But anyway, this is, uh, what is that thing? I don't know. But this is the powder room just off of the front door. It's got a cool little... Uh, underglow light right there and it's got one of these funky toilets. There's a lot of these throughout the house. Um, that's a little fancier than I'm used to in terms of toilets but uh, I also do love the doors as well and then you also this is almost like a alligator skin wallpaper look to it. It's got some sparkles in it. Kind of cool. And then uh, we're getting right into it, I think. Oh, this is just, I think this is just a bedroom. <laughs> I was thinking this might have been the master, but uh, I think that might be upstairs. Anyway, so this is the first full bathroom that you have. So you've got a single vanity right here, the toilet just right to the right hand side. And then you've got a shower, as you can see, zero threshold going into it, which is nice. You've got a bench back there. And then a removable shower head. Interesting. I don't think that might be the first one I've seen without like a, a solid shower head. 
Maybe, maybe, maybe that's not, I don't know. Just something I noticed. But anyway, into the closet. A lot of built-ins in here. Ooh, it's got one with a little lock on it. Ooh, that's for the fancy jewelry. And then you come into the bedroom itself. So I wonder if this is almost like a guest bedroom. Just because I think it's the only one on this level. Still got a really nice view out into the waterway. Plenty of space in here. Tons of windows. And then uh, accent ceiling. It's got a lot of cool patterns to it. Um, just what I'm seeing in terms of the wallpaper. I don't know, it's interesting. It's fun, it's different. All right, now let's get into the cool stuff, which is like the kitchen and uh, dining room and that back patio back there. Whew. All right, so the kitchen. I love the exposed beams in here, that's really nice. Great big light fixtures hanging down over the top of the island, waterfall edges on either side of the island itself and then uh, plenty of space for seating on the front side. I've loved this trip because everything's panelized. That's probably my favorite part. So this one right here, it, uh, it actually, this one is the dishwasher, that big one. This one is like the trash can drawer. Oh, sorry. Now you can see it. <laughs> but, uh, huh. What are these things? I wonder what that would be for. But you got an undermount sink looking back out into the living room. And then this one right here is the dishwasher, like I said. And then around the corner, just the other waterfall edge. And then we'll get back here check this out. I think this is the freezer and refrigerator with um, the wine chiller in the middle. And then along the back wall you've got plenty of storage back here. And this isn't even like you've got all of this and then you still have a pantry. In a cool little range hood. Uh, you've got the range itself with the double ovens, pot filler. Whoop, whoop. Is this, uh, are these cabinets? Oh my gosh, what is this? Oh! I know everybody's been like, what's my obsession with spice racks? But I mean, <laughs> I don't know, this is the biggest one I've ever seen. <laughs> Uh, I don't know, I just like spice racks, you guys. Let me love them. But anyway, that well, that just made my day. Uh, that was awesome. I wonder if that's uh All right, we gotta go back real quick and then we'll get into more of the tour. I know, I know, I know. Some of y'all are out there like, Ugh. But look at this, oh my goodness. There's two of them. These aren't spice racks, these are spice towers. And they're adjustable, you can like raise and lower them. Oh man, Swanson Homes, you just uh, whoosh, shot up there. But anyway, all right, into the dining room. Fun little light fixtures. That's the other thing I've been saying. A lot of these homes, like they just look unique and then they're modern and different, but like they're modern without being over modern. Like they could probably last for a while, you know what I mean? Without uh, going out of style. But uh, you do have these windows right here, which look down into the basketball court. So whenever dinner's ready, you can crank them out, holler for the kids, tell them to get upstairs. Which we'll get, we'll get down there in a minute so you can get like a better view of it. Uh, but I thought that was pretty neat. And then you've got the sliding glass doors out onto this 
uh, patio area with this beautiful fireplace. I have a cool picture up there. I like that. Got the stone going all the way up to the ceiling. Love the ceilings, by the way. That definitely gives it like this uh, cabiny feel in here. Kind of a neat room. And then you've got, uh, this looks like a door out onto, let's see if we can get out here. My biggest fear is uh, getting locked. Obviously I could walk around front, but uh, getting locked outside in one of these things. Now this isn't real big at all. Let's see if I can get you a good view. See, this is kind of why I like the wide angle because I can get over here and like give you a view of like the space. But um, then the stairs kind of, wrap around down to i think there's a walkout basement we'll have to go check that out but yeah um you know we've been shooting with a new camera now i don't know if this is going to be the first one or not uh if it is well we've got a new new little camera shooting in 4k this is the first trip ever we're doing that so a little nerve-wracking a little exciting all at the same time i hate the idea of coming on a trip and possibly wasting footage because i have no idea what i'm doing but uh, uh, we'll see. Fingers crossed, right? But uh, let me know what you think. I'm also not using a wide-angle lens anymore. I'm using uh, the lens that's on here. But I'll see how I feel about it, see how you guys feel about it. Maybe I need to widen it up a little bit so we can get some better shots. I'm trying to stand off a little bit from it, from everything, but I still love to open everything. So uh, we'll see. But you got like this uh, little coffee station. Um, Maybe a dry bar, depending on what you're looking for. Just part of the butler's pantry, uh, I guess. We've got a built-in microwave. And then uh, plenty of cabinets. And then back behind us, of course, you've got the actual butler's pantry itself. It's got a door and everything and plenty of... It's really cool, though, with like all the different shelves. I think that looks pretty neat. Another undermount sink. What do we got? Another trash can or is this a dishwasher? Ooh, tis, tis a dishwasher. And then I guess the trash can is over here. Yeah. That's pretty nice, pretty fancy. Got the floating shelves. Ooh, I like this one. This one looks good. And then beyond that, you come into the mud room area. Got the little built-in uh, dog kennel over here so the dogs don't destroy everything when you go somewhere and then you've got a little bench area uh, there's a closet back behind us but for the sake of spinning you around too much uh, we'll catch that on the way back in this is the garage three car uh, oh it is four car four car tandem this is the tandem stall over here Got a little uh, access port right there to the attic. We've got a dog washing station in here. That's cool. Just kind of perusing, looking to see what we have. I'm sure some of y'all are looking for space, you know, where to park the cars, but uh, I'll pan you one more time in just a second. But you do have a dog wash station. Pretty tall, comes up to about my waist level. So you don't have to bend over to wash the dog. Yeah, a good bit of space in here. I still ended up spinning you. All right, uh, this door right here, I have no idea. Let's go check that out real quick. Maybe a coat closet? Yeah, ooh. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Maybe like a cleaning closet. Something along those lines. I mean, it's got some coat rack hook things, but uh, some baskets, a lot of storage. Uh, this could just be for literally anything, huh? Nice. All right, so from here, um, we're gonna go up the stairs. I that's I always want to go downstairs because that's where like the coolest stuff is. But I'm fat, so <laughs> it uh it sucks to climb two extra flights of stairs. So I figured we'll just go up one and we'll go down two. It's easier that way. Whew. All right. 
So a lot of stuff happening up here. Tons of things. Got a little hallway, got some doors. We'll go ahead and uh, start this way first. And then once we come out of this room, I just, I'm noticing things I wanna show you. So we'll check that out in a minute. But uh, this is the second bedroom in the home. This is right up at the top of the stairs, just as soon as you uh, hit the landing. Kind of a cool setup. You've got these little um, sun benches, maybe? Which they're in a couple of the rooms, and they have storage up underneath of them. Which I like a lot. I think that looks pretty cool. And not only look cool, like, you know, it's functional. Oh my goodness, they just keep going with this stuff. Nice little built-in here in the closet. All right, so at the end of this, I'm gonna to wanna to know, one, like what was your favorite feature of the home? And then two, what do you think about uh, these secondary bedroom designs? Because I'm loving it. I know Jen loves these toilets. We don't have one, but uh, it's kind of like her dream toilet. It's like the, she calls them like, they're like Japanese toilets or something. I don't know the actual term for them. But nice ensuite. And then I shut these doors because I wanted to, I didn't want you to see inside of them uh, just as soon as we got up here to the top of the stairs. But when you open them, you, uh, ooh, man, you come into the master bedroom, which uh, super cool vaulted ceilings with the wood and the beams. Love that. Nice big windows. Oh, and the sun is just like so warm feeling. I love that a lot. The bed, nice light fixture. Almost a very like, a minimalist comes to mind when I come in here. And then just off of that, you've got this little hall, little corridor. To one side is the closet, to the other side is the ensuite. And the closet is uh, nice. Plenty of built-ins. You've got this little island here in the middle. It was funny. Uh, <laughs> So a lot of the times we have to explain what we do because people are like, what? You what? You do that for a living? Yes. So nowadays when I explain it, they're like, what do you do? For, like, what do you, you just walk through the home? I'm like, yes. And then I have to explain kind of how I walk through the home and, you know, we hang out, we get to talk and stuff like that uh, together and we just get to be nosy in the home. And uh, that's the best way I can explain it because you got a lot of these people that do like these super uber professional videos and stuff and... Uh, Man, I don't want none of that. I want to come in here. I want to open things up. I want to see what I'm buying. I want to look at it. You know what I mean? I don't want to just see the, the good stuff. I want to see inside the good stuff. But uh, it's just funny. I get the weirdest looks when I say that type of stuff. Because they're all so used to, you know, like, ooh, nice slow moves like this. You know what I mean? And that's, that's what they're used to. But, uh, so it's fun to, to have to explain that and... You know, it's nice that you guys get me. Y'all understand what it's like to be nosy and want to see uh, into, inside of all this stuff. Anyway, I'm rambling way too much. We've got zero threshold into the shower like that. This shower looks like it's got some fancy things happening in it. Uh, you can turn on some music. You've got temperature, light, uh, steam. <laughs> well, that's nice. We've got some jets. Got a little bench back here up above us. Look at all those little water ports. And then another fancy toilet back here. This, uh, the, this, 
The water closet is pretty wide too. It's got a lot of space in it. All right. Now we've got some more bedrooms to get into. That, oh, I still didn't even show you this. So this is the foyer just from up above. Cool little light fixture, more windows looking down into uh, the staircase. And then from here, uh, we just kind of keep working our way down the hall. We come to the second floor. Did we see, I don't think we saw one on the first floor, but uh, this is the laundry room. Got the wash basin right here, kind of a fun green color. Maybe this is more of an olive color. I was talking about another color earlier today in one of the other homes. And uh, this one's a little bit darker, a little bit more olive -y. Uh, nice counter space for your front load washer and dryer. Love the color of the front load washer and dryer. It's uh, like a navy blue or like a dark, maybe it's black and I'm colorblind. I don't really know at this point. Got some counter space on this side too. One of those fancy steamers. <laughs> oh man. I want one of those because I forgot the last time I actually owned an iron, which I desperately need sometimes. But uh... You always have to go back and throw everything back into the dryer and de-wrinkle it. But uh, having one of these little steam machine things, that would be pretty nice. Like Maybe it's like steam press, I don't know. Uh, one day, I can only help. As we continue working down the hallway, oh, I forgot this room has another thing and I've been trying to figure out how I'm gonna get up there and show it to you uh, because it's kind of blocked off. But anyway, this is the third bedroom up here. Again, another little uh, day bench. I've just got a thousand things running through my mind. I'm super excited to show you guys. Kind of a fun bed too. A little different. <laughs> uh, I stayed at a hotel last night. I told Jen, just book me whatever hotel. You know what I mean? It doesn't matter. I drove. It was a 14 hour trip. I drove. I didn't fly. Uh, you know, with all that Boeing stuff I've been hearing about. I don't want no doors blown off while I'm flying to places. So I've been, uh, I've been driving and uh, I stopped overnight. I think I, I drove uh, into Wisconsin, I think. And um, this, this hotel, you know, it's fine. I've stayed in worse for sure. But uh, it had a metal bed. And I just kept kicking it on accident. And it was horrible. It just made like this... I don't know. I wasn't really expecting it when I did kick it at first. Um, but this, this horrible metallic sound. And I feel like it just felt so cold. You know what I mean? Or it could have been it was 40 degrees in the room when I walked in. I'm not real sure. But, uh, yeah, I don't. <laughs> I'm not a fan of a hotel room with a, with a metal bed. But this is the ensuite connected to that bedroom. It's also connected to the hallway out here. It's got a nice, I like that tile color too. I'm, see, I'm a fan of these green colors. Maybe like a, you know, like a mossy green, maybe a pastel green. The olive green was actually pretty neat too. A little darker for my taste in that aspect. Uh, if I want dark colors, I want like a deep forest green color. That's nice. Or uh, like a darker navy blue color. I think those are my jam bams. The olive, maybe not so much. Still look good though. Uh, and then this is, was this the fourth bedroom up here? Again, another day bench. This is almost a, a mirror image of the one at the far end, a couple exceptions. I think the bathroom placement is a little different. But it's got a single vanity. Toilet. This one's a pocket door. Ooh. And then uh, another standalone shower. Zero threshold. This one got a bench in it. No. All right. Now this is uh, another cool little room. I completely forgot about this when I was mentioning uh, <laughs> like all the other stuff. Uh, downstairs in the basement. Now it's not necessarily this part of the room. I'm just going to show you this real quick. This is kind of like just a little hangout spot, a little game room maybe for the kids. Let's see if we can get over here and get a good get a good look at it. But you've got all these built-ins with the TV and everything. 
But this part right here, I don't know if I can, I'm gonna have to figure out, because they've got this plastic here, right? So it's gonna be hard to climb up the rungs. I don't know. Uh, it's a child loft. <laughs> All right, hold on real quick. All right, come here. Let's see if we can get up there now. I can't tour a home like this and not show it to you. Hopefully I don't break the chair. That would be, I would cry. Uh, can you see? Yeah. It's kind of a cool little lofty area. I'm not necessarily sure I'm gonna let a two-year-old up here, obviously, but I don't think it's made for a two-year-old. This might be something for like seven or eight year old, you know what I mean? Maybe a 10 year old, something along those lines. All right, I'll put the chair back in a little bit when I go to turn off all the lights. But anyway, I thought that was pretty neat. But from here, we'll go ahead and start working our way back down to the basement. And again, if you are interested in a home like this, uh, or really any home, if you're just looking to purchase a home or sell a home, uh, let us help you out. You can go over to refealty.com and click that link right there at the top of the description. And uh, literally, we can help you out anywhere in the country. So you, all you have to do is tell us a little bit about you, what you're looking for, your goals, and uh, we will we'll hop on a call with you, talk to you a little bit, and uh, see how we can help you. Plus, we get to actually talk, which will be fun. But, this is the basement. And uh, ooh, I mean, you literally could live down here and do everything you ever wanted to. So you've got the wet bar, built in microwave. Looks like another, another refrigerator and freezer. Yeah, I'm not gonna open both of them, but. That's pretty neat. And then next to that, you kind of drop down into uh, the golf simulator, which is pretty fun. Where were we at? Uh, uh, I think that was Michigan. Got to actually play with one in there. I love it, that was fun. You know, let's get back here so you can kind of see the view. So this is the simulator area. And then uh, you've got these glass windows right here, which look back out into like the yoga studio. And then another kind of living room area. Well, this is fun too. It's like a really dark accent ceiling. Almost looks like dark clouds. You've got uh, double doors that would lead out onto a back patio. Uh, once, of course, all the landscaping is complete. You've got the office. I like these doors too, with the privacy glass. It's pretty nice. And then into the yoga room, which we saw from the simulator room right there. You can get your, Jen likes to do those workouts. Uh, like she follows along with different uh, people on Instagram and stuff like that uh, when she's working. If she's not, you know, doing her own thing down in the, in our little gym room, AKA our basement, uh, AKA our laundry room. But uh, this is cool because you can put that on and you can do like all the workouts and stuff. Pretty neat. And then from there, you come into the basketball court. Again, you know, I mentioned this in the last one. I don't know if I put that up or not, but uh, pretty neat. I'm not necessarily a basketball player, but uh, this would be like a, a racquetball court. That would be fun. Pickleball's kind of all the rage. Not real sure. Maybe this could be like a mini pickleball court. That would be fun. You got the windows up there. And, uh, but yeah, what do you think? How would you feel if you had a basketball court in your room? I would feel, uh, <laughs> uh, I feel like I'd won the lottery. And then this right here, kind of like another mud room, maybe a little storage area because 
Let's see, I just kind of want to be able to show you everything. Really just white walls, but uh, got this door right here also, which would lead out onto the back patio. And then if all of this wasn't enough, we've got one more thing to go check out. Oh, two more things. Interesting. So this door right here leads into like the utility closet. Water filtration, water heater, furnace is that I don't I don't even know is that another water pump thing is that I'm not sure and then the brings to the whole outfit another bathroom this one I like because of course it's a little darker uh, but this makes it look good with that kind of olive color I see it now uh, and that's nice. You got the underglow lights up underneath of that. You've got the toilet and then uh, into a darker shower, darker surround like that. You've got the removable shower head right here and then the darker shower tray. And then all the way at the end, this is the final bedroom, which probably has, I guess it's not going to have the coolest view because it's a little lower, but man, once you get all that backyard finished up and everything, obviously that's gonna be finished up before the uh, owner takes over, but uh, it's just, that would be a cool view too. And it does also have a closet with some more built in, so. All right, let me know what you think about this home down in the comments. If you are interested in a home like this, you can click that link right there at the top of the description or you can go over to refealty.com. Our whole goal is to help you dream it by taking you on beautiful tours like this, help you find it by connecting you with real estate agents and builders across the country, and eventually to hear about how much you love it, maybe even letting me come and tour it one day. But with that, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. My name is Timothy. I look forward to seeing your beautiful face in the next one.